let's just focus on particularly on this this Shabazian fight because Brunson had exactly the right game plan in this fight for someone like Darren Till. He's not going to get every takedown. He's going to have to fight hard for some of them. But if he can crash forward behind punches and get his hands on his opponent and put them on the floor, he puts them into that cycle where they start to turn away from him to scramble. They get their wrist controlled and their back taken. Like, look at that wrist control there that he uses. As soon as, as, soon as Shabazian moves and places, you can see the hand of Brunson follows him and controls the wrist. And then he feeds it to the other, the other side so he can start hitting. I mean, Shabazian does a good job of defending to an extent, but still, Brunson has got him in this cycle where he's able to wear him out. Lovely little foot sweep here as well. Just kicks his leg away. Because you can see... So, at this, at this point here, Shabazian's leaning his weight into Brunson a bit. He's leaning into the fence post, of course, but some of his weight is leaning into Brunson. So Brunson's going to use this foot here, this near side foot, and just kick this base away just to remove that, that uh, stability. And as he does it, he's going to pull on his body as well. You can see he's also got the wrist control here. He's going to kick that foot away. He's going to kick the foot away, break him down, and then he's in control with wrist control, and he goes straight into hammer fists. And it's an exhaustive game. You know, again, Shabazian turns and gives his back. Watch the control of the legs. The right side hook's going to go in. The right side hook's in. Now the left side's come into play as well. This is what I was talking about with his legs. So right side hook goes in on the far side. You can see that hook's in there. But watch what the left leg does at the same time. The left leg is going to come and hook under the ankle of Shabazian here. And it's going to control this leg. Because you've also got to think, Brunson's driving in with his leg here. He's pinching with his leg. So he's got some control over both sides of the body of Shabazian. Keeps a hook on that leg. And he's able to pressure and roll him over and pulls him over with the hook on the right side. Look, you can see this here. Really educated control from Brunson, who then takes top, top position and continues punishing Shabazian. And that was a lovely elbow over the top. And I mean, this this is the first of two stoppages of this fight. You'll see the first one here. And then uh, he actually comes out in the second round as well. And and it couldn't be a more succinct finish, to be honest, in the second round. I mean, I don't think it was necessary for him to come out in the first place. But when he does, Brunson gives him no time to breathe. He goes power left hand, backs him up to the fence with a rush, takes his back, kicks the leg away. And then he's straight on his back as well straight away with this control. Look how he's hooking under that back ankle there. I mean, it's it's really lovely control. But at this point, Shabazian has, is, has really got nothing left to give. And he gives his hook and then referee waves it off. I mean, if, if we're thinking about the best attribute of Derek Brunson, it's being able to control someone with his lower body while he beats them up with his hands. That's valuable in MMA in lots of different positions, especially if you're able to ground someone that would much rather be on their feet.